Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Corridor. And uh, it's Monday today. And with Monday comes uh, comes a day of feeling good. Enable the cheats, of course. It's, the, it's a crucial step in enjoying Corridor. They put the stupid... It just annoys me, man. Um, yeah, it's Monday. I feel good. I haven't seen anybody else all day. And uh, that's that's definitely contributing to the uh, to the less stress. Haven't had to talk to anybody. Haven't had to not none of that. I've just I've just been able to enjoy a day to myself, and that's good. Not having to to do things that uh, contribute to the depression, to the anxieties. So it's it's a good day today. It's a good day today. I didn't end. Uh, I, I didn't end up editing the um, the Minecraft video. I really got to get on that. Honestly, it's like probably a much higher priority than I'm giving it. Cause I I like making the Minecraft series. Okay, you know I I love it. I want to continue with it. I'm not giving up on it. I just I haven't been doing it. I've been irresponsible. I mean, you know, I, I'm not gonna blame it on the depression necessarily, but it's kind of been a little overwhelming as of uh, as of late. And uh, I mean, as I as I said, getting into it and, and doing it is is kind of like a good first step to helping me get out of the depression. I wish I could play as command. I wish I liked commando as much as I like gunslinger. You know what I mean? Like, do you feel that way? If you play. Uh, Killing for two. Do you feel that way? Cause I do. I wish. Uh, and I don't. I don't like Commando as much as I like Gunslinger. Gunslinger is my my favorite class by uh, by far. My favorite perk by uh, by an enormous margin. But just the the dang stalkers. I I wish I liked Commando as much as I like Gunslinger. Just so I could always play Commando and never worry about stalkers ever again. But I just I don't have as much fun doing it, you know. I have a lot of fun, but I, I you know I have like eight funs when I play as Commando, and I have you know nine and a half when I play as Gunslinger. So I'm like I don't know. I'm just gonna stick with Gunslinger. Why do anything else, you know? Nothing else has to exist. Nothing else has to exist. It's the only thing that matters is uh, is playing on Gunslinger. It's kind of weird how you can sprint backwards or sideways even. I want to, you know, I, I, it's it's times like these when I wish I had like a huge following. It's not it's not because I want to have, you know, like success, riches, fame. I mean, I want those too. Though those, you know. If you if you hand them to me, I'm not gonna be like, oh, uh, you know, it's not acting. I don't no, thank you, you know. No, I'm gonna be like, hey, thank you. I'll take it. Yes, please. But the the parts, the times when I really just, I'm like, dang it, why can't I just have like a million subscribers? It's times like these when I come up with something that I think is mildly amusing, and I'm like, I want somebody to draw this. I want I want somebody to animate it. You know. But I don't want to pay somebody to do it. <laughs> so if I had a, if I had a million subscribers, you know there there'd be somebody out there who's willing to put together like uh, an MS Paint animation or something, you know, of uh, of some random character just like sprinting backward with the, like legs kind of like just flailing all over the place, shooting zombies as they kind of retreat. I think it would be amusing. And if I had a million subscribers, there'd probably be at least one out there who who also thinks it's funny. And then they'd animate it, and they'd like send it to me on Twitter or something like that, and I'd be like, "Oh, it looks exactly like what I wanted it to, and it's great." Um, instead, I, I I have fewer than a million, and I don't get I don't get that level of, of privilege as a YouTuber. But it's times like those when I I wish I had more of a following. Times when I wish I could uh, use that following for good, you know, for the greater good, to bring entertainment. And uh, comedy to the world at large. That's 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 the that's my priority. I 
Oh my god. You know, there's a, there's a map called, like, Husk Dodgeball or something like that. Where you spawn... Oh my god. On, like, just a little platform. Like, a, a bridge sort of thing. And you can fall off of it to either direction, like, forward or backwards. Um, actually, I don't think you can fall off forward. I, I believe you can fall off only backwards. Uh, and then across from you is, like, a whole bunch of Husk spawning zones. And you have to, um... Like, dodge the husk fireballs, and uh, you get like an RPG or something like that, and then ammo crates spawn at either side, and you have to keep on like running back and forth, dodging the stuff, and firing out the uh, the RPGs to kill all the husks and like clear the waves. I, I played on it once or twice, like a, a year ago maybe. It was a really cool map, it was a really cool idea for a map, I really liked it. I might get it and try it out again someday. But that's what, that's what, uh, whenever I'm playing on these, like, linear maps, you know, corridor, verticality, whatever. I always think about that. Because it feels the same, you know, there's, there's just, like, a billion husks flying at you down the dang corridor. Shooting their fireballs all over the place, and you're just... You just suffer. You just, you just suffer, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we want to make him come all the way down. I don't want him running... I don't want him running, like, off that way and getting somewhere that he's not going to be catchable. So we'll just bring him all the way down. And now we'll destroy him. Okay, and then at this point in time, he should uh, run towards us. Yeah, look at that. You see the planning? The planning? You, 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 you plan it, and you execute it. And it works every time. As long as you go in with a, with a solid plan, you know? It's the way it goes. And it's great. Wow. That's a negative one monies. In case you were unaware. Actually, is it? Why is it this number? I was just thinking that. Because if, if it was integer overflow, then that should be like negative 2 billion. Instead, it's negative like 4 million. Okay, this is going to bother me. Because it looks like integer overflow. Like you're getting negative 1 money. Okay, okay, um, two to the power of, like, I don't know, 20. No. 19 isn't it either, because that's obvious, obviously wrong. Um, 24. That's 16 million, 23 is 8.38 million. Okay. So if it, se like, it seems like they're using, like, a 23-bit integer assigned 23-bit integer and then it's getting overflowed when you when you enable cheats so then you get negative half of 2 to the power of 23 minus 1 <laughs> it's a lot of numbers I guess but uh, that's what that's what I think is happening there I can't think of any other option. And then, like, even this one, I'm just like, why would they be using a 23-bit integer for this? That doesn't make any sense at all. Like, zero. But I can't think of another reason. Maybe maybe they just use, like, a magic number. You know? So when you enable cheats, what it does is it just, like, reduces your... your total Vosh that number at the end of the game or something I don't know it just confuses me why when you uh, when you enable cheats you get exactly that number every single time is it exactly that number I'm gonna take a peek at, at this at the end of this game we'll see if it's if it's like exactly half of 2 to the power of 23 then I'm pretty sure my theory is right even though it makes zero sense it, sh it shouldn't be right because again, it made, like a 23-bit integer, like nobody does that. There's zero purpose to it. 
But I mean, the, the logic kind of makes... Well, I was going to say it makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. It kind of lines up, you know? The logic kind of adds up. The math... When you were in, uh, when you were in school... Your teachers always tell you to like show your work, cause it's 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 important, right? Like when when you're, it's important to be able to show your methodology to to arrive at a conclusion, so that you can understand what you did, and you know why it's happening, and uh, explain it to other people who might need help. And um, it's important to to be able to explain how you got to the conclusion you got to, so that you can. Um, show that you understand the problem more so than just the answer to that question, right? Um, so it makes sense that they want you to show your work, but when I was in school, and I, I dropped out of like 10th grade, um, so I never, I never got into like the super advanced math stuff. Not in school anyway, I did, I do a lot of it, oh my god, I do a lot of it for like fun, kind of. Um, for programming, but like my, my, my knowledge is very spotty um, on it because if it, if it is if it isn't a, if it isn't a problem I've had to face through developing you know uh, programs and stuff I, I, I know nothing about it. If it is something I've had to face, then I'll be like, ah, yeah, no, this is simple. <laughs> so my I, I have very sparse knowledge or kind of uh, yeah, you guys just kill each other, okay? Um, but uh, in school, I dropped out, so I never, I never got into the, the super advanced stuff there. I never had to show my work on a, on the advanced stuff. But even just on the the earlier questions, you know, like I'm not talking like going back way back, right? When you're learning your your like multiplication, right? If I ask you, you know, what's seven times seven? You probably you probably know the answer is forty nine, right? How did you, how did you arrive? at the answer that uh, that 7 times 7 is 49 and if you didn't I'm not like saying you're dumb or anything like that um, if you didn't that's okay um, it's, it's just uh, for for like most people I think are gonna know that 7 times 7 is 49 to me anyway it was um, one of the more common questions when I was growing up so I've kind of got like a, a weird Nostalgia to that que to that uh, to that problem, I guess. Seven times seven. Um, anyway, uh, besides the point. If I, if I ask you what you know, two times two is seven times seven. Like you know, that's four. It's forty nine. You know, eight times eight is sixty four. Ten times ten is a hundred. Like you know, you you know this because you know you're you're an adult. You've been living for a while. You've seen the problem a billion times. You know what it is right like you look at it and you you see hey that's 49 right um, when I was in school and this isn't like to be braggadocious or anything when I was in school you know second or third grade same kind of thing for me anyway I looked at the question and it's like what's seven times seven 49 like how'd you arrive at that how, how'd you get to that conclusion can you show your work I'm like yeah I looked at the problem and the answer is 49 like what do you what do you want me to show uh, got me in trouble a lot in school I, I lost a lot of grades because of it um, because I just, I couldn't show my work because a lot of the stuff that they were doing was I don't want to say like below me um but stuff that that I kind of just clicked for me you know um and uh you know a lot of the stuff didn't like trigonometry I had a lot of problem with actually um in school uh, you know a lot of the stuff didn't click but a lot of the stuff just clicked right so I uh, would look at the question and be like yeah no I know the answer just like you look at it and there's your answer right um, I didn't really have any work there wasn't really anything happening in my brain you just I just like look at 2 plus 2 and it's like yeah that's 4 you know but 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 uh, you know back in second grade or third grade or, or whenever it was that you're we learning this they want you to show your work, right? So you have to, like, write out two times two, so you take the two, and you get two of them, and then you you add in the, the two and the two, so that's, that's two ones plus two ones, which is four, and, uh, I'm just like, this isn't how I do it, though. 
Um, like this, this isn't, this isn't. I'm not. This, this wasn't my work. You know, that's that's one of the things that always kind of annoyed me about school. Honestly, was um, how even when I was doing the work, a lot of the times they were just like, "Oh no, that's not how you do it." And I'm like, "What do you mean that's not how you do it? Like, that's how I do it." I got to the right answer. I did the right thing. I know what I'm doing. Got really frustrating and I dropped out, basically. Um, but, uh, I wish I stayed. Like, it's not a... You should stay in school. I'd, I'd be better off right now if I did, but I didn't, you know? I was, it was a long time ago and I, I made a six. So, four two five seven one six six. That's not half of 8388608. Eight, not even close. That's ah, close. I was not not even close. Is, is disingenuous, but it's uh. Yeah. No. That 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 that's it, it. That would be like, what, eight million five hundred forty two forty three. Twenty two or something like that. Some something like that. Um. Which is not the same number. So I don't know why it's that negative. Anyway. Um, moral of the story is stay in school and uh, teachers recognize that, that your students are going to do things in, in ways that you might not do it and, you know, accept that and embrace it. Anyway, I'm going to head off. We'll record another episode. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video. If you like it, subscribe to more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.